Hello and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. So a couple of days ago I went into Best Buy and I thought if I was your casual gamer and I didn't know what shop to go in I might go into Best Buy to buy a gaming mouse. Now <clears throat> Best Buy has got a good selection of these things. The one thing I would say is they haven't got a great selection of staff who actually know what they're talking about. So I thought if I'm going to go into Best Buy the chances are I'm not looking to spend an absolute fortune on a gaming mouse because if you are then you're going to be looking to hit the lights of Newegg, Amazon, those kind of websites and try and sniff out a bargain and get one for about $50, $60 plus uh, for a really good one or you go to one of the specific gaming esports type mouse. So with this in mind I've set a budget of around $30 and I went to Best Buy and I went to see what I could get and I ended up with three mice. Let's have a look at them, shall we? So I ended up with three mice. The Corsair M55 RGB Pro, which is just over $30. And one of the good things about it is it's a multidextrous mouse, so you can either use it right or left handed. The second one is the Razer Death Adder Elite, which was just under $30. And then the cheapest of the bunch was the HyperX Pulse Fire cool easy for some to say wouldn't you eh? right anyway let's have a look at each of the individual mice and make comparisons to them first up we've got the razor mouse it's got two buttons on the side which go fairly easily but the one thing I would say about them is they're fairly far back so when you've got your natural you have to bring your thumb far back the sensor on the bottom and the pads look pretty good the scroll mouse is pretty resistant the DPI adjustment buttons are pretty nice. All in all, a good good mouse. The cord on it is pretty decent and shouldn't kink too much. Next up is the HyperX mouse. The buttons on the side, you need to press them fairly hard to get a good reaction from them, but they're in a good position, although the, the second one, like the Razer mouse, is too far back for me. The scroll mouse has not got a lot of resistance to it. It's very, very easy to roll. The DPI adjustment buttons, pretty good. All in all, the good mounts. The sensor on the other side is about the same as the Razer. Pads are pretty decent as well. The cord, again, shouldn't kink too much. Last but not least is the Corsair mouse. The Corsair mouse has buttons on either side, being uh, both right and left handed. The sensor underneath is pretty decent. The pads, again, are good. The cord keeps its kinks, I've noticed, which isn't the best. The DPI button on the top, only one button for making adjustments, which is okay and the scroll button not got a lot of resistance to it the one thing I would say is I found because I've got quite stubby fingers is I was catching and I'm right handed by the way when I was using the mouse I was catching the buttons on the right so you'll need to make sure in the Corsair software that you switch them off so they're not really giving you anything any problems while you're using it so with the three mouse that I looked at I would actually say for the price that you're paying they're all pretty even the Corsair mouse I just didn't like the buttons on both sides. Um, it does answer a problem for left-handers, which would be great, but for me it just didn't work. Um, the HyperX mouse, the build quality felt a little bit cheaper than the others. So for me of the three, I would go for the Razer mouse. But to be perfectly honest, you can't go wrong with any of the three of them. If you were to pick up any one of those from Best Buy, you'd have a pretty decent mouse on your hands. All right, I hope that was helpful for anybody who's looking to buy a introductory stroke budget uh, gaming mouse please press a like on the video if you want to it'd be really appreciated it really helps don't forget to subscribe and if you do click the little bell icon to get uh, notifications of future content and as always take care